here. The, I thought this was interesting. The first bird strike occurred 1905. So it didn't take too long for us to start hitting birds. But we've got 10,000 reports of bird and wildlife strikes each year. And of those 10,000, about 96% of those are birds, which makes sense, right? They're in the same airspace as we are. They don't have ADS-B or transponders. They're kind of hard to see, you know. Estimated we got 50% of strikes reported. So that 10,000 could, in theory, be as high as 20,000 because a lot of bird strikes go unreported. A lot of bird strikes will go unnoticed even, right? And flying a, a bigger aircraft, I've, I've had that happen both at the airline and in the military flying, where you go step to the aircraft and on the pre-flight inspection, I see a big bloody spot on the plane and I bring the crew chief over or I call maintenance. They're like, hey, is this, is this logged anywhere? I don't see it. Oh no, the last crew must've missed that on their post-flight. So if you're doing your post-flight, you can save the next crew some work. But it's pretty easy to not know that you've had a bird strike on a larger aircraft. On a small aircraft, it's gonna be pretty noticeable. And we've got some pictures uh, that I'll share with you and incidents here in Arkansas we'll talk about that you've probably, you'll notice when you have a bird strike in a small airplane. And then the, the worst thing here, over 293 fatalities due to bird strikes since just 1988. So that, that's not all the way back to 1905. I don't think the 1905 incident was fatal. I don't know, they didn't 